Hello, hello, hello. Hi, kitchenettes, kitchen littles, and kitchen nuggets. I'm waiting for my connection here on the Instagram page because there we are. Okay, holy cow. Hello, hello, hi. Welcome, welcome, kitchenettes, kitchen littles, and kitchen nuggets. It is Monday Morsels time in Bare Bones Kitchen. Cheers. I am your culinary coach, Harmony, and we're going to do a little Greek inspired salad. So let me first tell you, let me first tell you that I absolutely, without a doubt in my mind, thought, thought that I had orzo in my cupboard and it turns out that I didn't. So I didn't want to go to the store because one, I didn't really, I mean, I guess I had time to go, but I just didn't go. I didn't want to go. I have some couscous, so we're going to rock it out with some couscous. I'm going to dump this whole box. If you've never had couscous, it's a very itty bitty. Okay, let me let me dump some of it out in my hand here. It's very itty bitty, very like sand like. Okay, and we're just going to dump that whole box in this bowl. And then we're going to take this water that I have over here that I salted. So we're doing a two to one ratio on this. And we're just going to put it in here and we're going to put this lid on it. Okay. I'm going to put a lid on it. All right. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. So I was going to do orzo. I had couscous. End of story. Sometimes you just have to work with what you have. So couscous is not a gluten-free option. So neither is orzo. Just throwing it out there. It's a pasta. It's very tiny, itty bitty little pasta. Um, orzo is also a pasta. So there we have it. There are, there are the tick marks. It is not gluten free, but I bet, I bet you could absolutely make this little salad with some rice cauliflower. If you are a gluten free person, that is my suggestion. Other than that, I'm sure that you have discovered some amazing worldly thing that works for you when you're doing rice. Like, a, yeah, a, a rice situation. Like, I don't know, rice? I'm, okay, now I'm just getting ridiculous. I'm sorry. But gluten-free is a buzzword, and I know people love that stuff. So there we have it. That is it. That's what I have for you. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's not all we have. This one, there we go. Okay, I felt like I was leaning into my, leaning into my stove again. Okay, so we have our couscous chilling over here. We have a cucumber. I did half of it. Um, if you want to leave the seeds in your cucumber, feel free. Nobody's going to judge you. I never had a problem with the seeds, but of course, when I'm in culinary school, everybody tries to like pretend like there's something wrong with it. I did half with no seeds and I just chopped it up. And so with this one, I'm just going to do the seeds because we don't really care, right? It's all right. It's all right. If you like the seeds, you like the seeds. If you don't like the seeds, you don't like the seeds. And I'm okay with that either way. Because I'm not eating what's in your kitchen and you're not eating what's in mine. So I just chop it up in little, little three, do a slices of three, just because that's the way I'm doing it. If you feel like you got to get more specific than that, go ahead and do that. I'm taking stuff with me here. There we go. How is everybody tonight? I hope you are all amazing. I am working on it. I am working on being all right. I had a really terrible dream last night, and I don't know if it was a dream or a nightmare, but I did wake myself up at 11 o'clock. So, yeah, screaming, screaming and yelling all about my freaking, my freaking job in my car, you guys. Seeds portion just adds moisture, right? It could. It totally could. Hi, Miss Sue. And hello, Miss Nicole. So I have some some cukes and then I have some artichoke hearts. Thank you, Sue. And you can totally cut these up smaller if you want. They're kind of large in there. I bought some Kalamata olives. These are in your olive aisle. They are a little bit expensive, but they're delicious. I'm just going to fish some of these guys out. These ones are already sliced and pitted. So just kind of be wary of that. I have accidentally purchased the ones that have the pits in them, and it's just a lot of extra work. 
like honestly you guys it's just a lot of extra work I'm just gonna put some of these in here and I'm kind of draining them as I pull them out they're gonna be kind of salty so just be again aware of that the salt content because I'm also using a feta that I don't normally use which is very salty um, you just want to be mindful just be mindful okay And again, you can always add more. You just can't take anything away. It's not any fun. Miss Sue, are you almost packed? I know you're getting excited down to that last week. That kind of, you know, it makes me sad. It makes me sad for me, but it makes me happy for you. And you're probably thinking, geez, Harmony, you haven't even been down here in forever. <laughs> I just suck at that. I really do. I suck at that. So I did like maybe a quarter of the jar, you guys. Define almost. <laughs> she says, define almost ready. Well, I don't know. Do you feel like you're almost ready to punch your ticket and get out of here? All right. And then I took some, I took some sun-dried tomatoes and I just... I just lapped up the, the stuff that it's in, the, the oil that it's in, because I don't have any fresh tomatoes. If you have fresh tomatoes, use fresh tomatoes because it's going to be way better. But I do love me some sun-dried tomatoes, and here's the deal. Zayn's not going to eat this. For those of you that have been around here, you know that my kid's not going to eat this. So I don't even know what I'm going to end up concocting for him when we're done with this. But I'm just doing some sun-dried tomatoes because I like them. All right. And I'm getting this all prepared while I wait for the couscous to cook. And I think on the package, package instructions, you can do it like on the stovetop, but this is how I learned how to do it. So stick with what you know, right? So if you learned how to do it in just the pot, whatever, do you. Just do you, whatever works for you. All right, so now I have my, my feta, and again, not a feta I typically use because it was covered in a lot of liquid. It is very salty, so I am not going to add very much, but I am going to crumble it. It's quite delicious. It's just extremely salty. I usually buy the little, I think it's Athos or something is what I buy. But this was... Um, on sale so why not right you only live once right <laughs> or you live every day just depending depending on who you are and if you wanted to add some red onion to this purple onion purple onion you could totally do that too I'm just not a huge onion person in my my salads so I don't do that I only like grilled onions because I'm kind of a bougie bitch like that little chunks got away from me. Ooh, fed of fingers, disgusting. As in would say, disgusting mom, disgusting. Make me want to throw up. I love that kid. All right. All right, I got my, my fed of fingers clean. Got them clean. All right, and I also did not have any kind of fresh herbs, and again, wasn't going to the store. Wasn't doing it. So I have some thyme, which again, you can totally use whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use a little bit of this thyme, and all these dried herbs are going to taste way better tomorrow, just so you all know. Your fresh herbs are going to give you the now flavor. The uh, dried herbs are going to give you the tomorrow flavor. So if you're looking for something that uh, needs to be flavored today, you probably want to use your fresh herbs. But if you're okay with what's tomorrow, then there you have it. I got a little bit of oregano here. And a little bit of basil. These are kind of concentrated though, so... Remember, you can always add more. You can't take anything away. I am going to rock out with a little bit of pepper. Mm. 
funny, Tyler came over to have dinner with me the other night, and I gave him a whole bunch of stuff, and he asked me if I had one of these, <coughs> because the one that he had, he did not realize that the little screw in the middle was just the little screw in the middle. He thought that it um, made it tighten or loosen, so your, your granules, and he, uh, he popped his, he, he popped it, and yeah. I've, I've done that before. Zane and I had a situation like that where I went to go refill one of these little Costco guys and went to go do this and the whole thing went bleh, all over the place. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I got one of those. And then I realized I have a lot of pepper, you guys. I just bought pepper at Costco and realized I have a whole nother one of these. Plus I bought the refill situation. So it gives you another one of these plus the smaller one. And then Miss Sue is so generous and gave me a whole bunch of spices. And now I have more pepper. More pepper. I love it. I love it. I love having all the things. Some lemon juice. Again, if you have fresh lemons, do that. I do not have fresh lemons. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that in here. Maybe like two tablespoons. I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm going to rock out with some olive oil. And I think maybe we'll be ready for the couscous soon. Very soon. Just check on it. Oh, yeah. Looking beautiful. We're just going to let it do its thing for a minute more. Let me find a spoon or something here. This would be so much prettier if I had fresh, fresh tomatoes, but it's going to be delicious because sun-dried tomatoes have a very rich flavor to them. All right, I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks like vomit. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. But it's going to taste good. That's the important part is that it tastes good at the end of the day, right? So got a little bit of the, the oil, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of pepper, some... Basil, some thyme, some oregano, anything else that you want to add, you guys. It's it's all about how you feel about it. Don't be afraid. All right, so now we have this that's been hanging out over here. It's all, it's all cooked. So again, that's how I learned how to do couscous. If you follow the, the instructions that are on the package, I... I've never done it that way, so I don't know. It's like basically putting it in the pan. So we're just going to fluff it up. And I know I have made a couple of salads with couscous before, and I've used currants, and that is delicious in my opinion. So currants is like a little berry, kind of like a raisin, kind of like a cranberry. And I loved that. That was delicious. So those little guys just soak it all up. And then, of course, when you're all done mixing, you want to give it a little taste to make sure that it's scrumptious and delicious to your liking. If not, you're just going to adjust your spices, add a little of this, add a little of that, whatever works for you. Some red onions would be beautiful in this, I think, especially because I have the sun-dried tomatoes. There's not that vibrant red, so a nice vibrant purple would be amazing, even though the olives are sort of purplish brown. If you had some fresh basil, that would be amazing as well. Some parsley would be beautiful. This is just how we're rocking it tonight, because this is what I have. It's what I have on hand. So there we have it, y'all. There we have it. And it smells delicious. Okay. That's what I have tonight. So thank you for joining me in Bare Bones Kitchen tonight. Just remember, the YouTube channel is mostly caught up. 
I think we're just missing the last couple of videos. Um, I'm definitely going to get better at that, you guys. I promise you. <laughs> that is my promise. Um, also thinking about BBK BBQ. I think that the regular flavor, the regular flavor that I'm going to have consistently all year long, because Nicole, I know that you've asked me about this. I think we're going to go with the berry chipotle. That is going to be a flavor that's available all year long. Still working on it though. I got to get Miss Gail from Sassy Sissy Boutique to make sure she shows me how to jar this stuff because that's, that's my excuse right now. Can I just tell you that? That's my excuse. It's not, it's not what's holding me back. It's, it's, it's my excuse. So we're, we're working on that still though. I do have, I, I am, I've been doing, I, I've been doing a mango habanero Carolina sauce. I've also been doing the berry chipotle. Um, I need to get to my sister's house and get some blackberries so I can have a little bit of fun with that too. Um, if you think you need a cool BBK shirt, let me know. I also have some mugs to go with it. Together it's $35 plus shipping if you're out of the area. Uh, if you are in the area, I am happy to meet you. Olympia Lacey Tumwater, Washington State. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have tonight. So join me on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we're going to make something else fun. Do I know what yet? Maybe. I might actually have a plan this week. It, this works so much better when I have a plan, as long as I've looked in my cupboards to find out if I have all the ingredients. But that's why it's called Bare Bones Kitchen, right? Sometimes you just got to work with what you have. So if you got bare essentials or bare knowledge, just come join me. All right, you guys, I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you for showing up. Y'all keep showing up. So do I. And keep sharing that love. Have a good evening.